this video, let's learn about the epididymis. The epididymis is a comma-shaped structure that is present on the posterior lateral aspect of the testis. The head is formed by highly convoluted continuations of the efferent ductules. These are lined by ciliated columnar epithelium. At the lower end of the head of the epididymis, these tubules join to form a single tube called as the duct of the epididymis. Now let's see about the brief histology of the epididymis. The body of the epididymis is a long convoluted duct. And this is the section diagram that shows the number of tubules that is lined by the pseudostratified columnar epithelium in which there are the tall cells and the shorter basal cells that do not reach the lumen. These columnar cells bear the stereocilia. So this is the tubule lined by the pseudostratified columnar epithelium in which there are long columnar cells in the short basal cells and these basal cells do not reach the lumen. The smooth muscles are present in the wall of the duct. So you can note the smooth muscles here and the clumps of spermatozoa are present in the lumen of the duct. So these are the clumps of the spermatozoa. The luminar surface of each columnar cell bears non-motile projections that resembles the cilia. So these are the stereocilia. The stereocilia are seen in the electron microscope to be thick microvilli. They do not have the structure of true cilia. The basal cells are the precursors of the tall columnar cells. And beneath this epithelium, there is a layer of smooth muscle fibers. And this muscle layer increases the thickness gradually from the head to tail and they may be organized into inner circular and the outer longitudinal layer in the tail region. Now let's talk about the function of this epididymis. It helps in the phagocytosis of the defective spermatozoa. Helps in the absorption of excess fluid. and helps in the secretion of substances that play a role in the maturation of the sperms. The example of these substances silic acid and the glycerol phosphorylcholine. So guys, this is all about the histology of the epididymis. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.